The city was loud. Cars honked incessantly, creating a cacophony that echoed through the concrete jungle. Tall buildings loomed overhead, blocking out the sun and casting long shadows on the streets below. I felt suffocated by the noise and the crowds. I needed to escape to find a place where I could breathe freely and hear my own thoughts, so I decided to leave. I packed my backpack with essentials ready for a new adventure. I filled it with food, carefully selecting items that would sustain me on my journey. Fresh fruits, nuts and some homemade sandwiches. I wanted to be prepared for anything. I added water, enough to keep me hydrated for days, and a tent, my shelter for the nights ahead. Each item I packed was a step closer to freedom. It was time to go. I slung the backpack over my shoulders, feeling its weight as a promise of the journey to come. I walked out of my apartment, leaving behind the familiar and stepping into the unknown. I was going to find nature. The drive was long, but I didn't mind. Each mile took me further from the chaos of the city and closer to the tranquility I craved. The city slowly faded behind me, its skyline shrinking in the rearview mirror. As I drove, the landscape began to change. Skyscrapers gave way to rolling hills and concrete turned to green. Trees started to appear, their leaves rustling in the gentle breeze. The air felt fresher, cleaner, as if it carried the promise of new beginnings. I rolled down the windows, letting the cool, crisp air fill the car. It was a welcome change from the stifling atmosphere of the city. The sounds of nature began to replace the constant hum of traffic. A sense of peace washed over me. I felt a smile spread across my face as I breathed in the fresh air. The worries and stresses of city life seemed to melt away with each passing mile. I was on the right track. The road ahead was clear, lined with trees that seemed to welcome me into their embrace. I knew I was heading towards a place where I could reconnect with nature and find the peace I had been longing for. This journey was not just about leaving the city behind, it was about finding myself again. I parked my car. It was still dark outside. I started to hike up the mountain trail. The air was cool and crisp. I took deep breaths. Each step took me further away from the city. Then it happened. The sun peaked over the mountains. The sky exploded in color. Orange, pink, and purple painted the clouds. It was magical. This was why I came. Nature was beautiful. The trail led me into the forest. The trees were tall and strong. Sunlight peeked through the leaves. It created dancing patterns on the ground. I listened to the sounds around me. Birds chirped in the branches. Insects buzzed in the air. My feet crunched on fallen leaves. The forest was alive. Every sense was engaged. I felt small but connected. I stopped to look at a spider web. It was early morning and the forest was just waking up. The air was crisp and the first rays of sunlight filtered through the dense canopy above, casting a golden glow on everything it touched. The spider web was a work of art. Each thread was meticulously woven, creating a delicate yet strong structure. It was a testament to the spider's patience and skill, a masterpiece of natural engineering. Dewdrops clung to the silken threads, sparkling like tiny jewels in the morning light. They added an ethereal beauty to the web, making it look like a necklace of pearls strung across the branches. A spider waited patiently in the center. It was a small, almost unnoticeable creature. Yet it held the power to create such an intricate design. The spider's stillness was a stark contrast to the bustling life around it. It was waiting for its breakfast. Every movement in the web sent vibrations to the spider, alerting it to potential prey. It was a silent hunter, relying on its web to capture the sustenance it needed to survive. As I continued my walk, I saw a family of deer. They were grazing peacefully, their ears twitching at the slightest sound. The forest was their home, a sanctuary where they could find food and shelter. They were munching on leaves, their jaws moving rhythmically. The sound of their chewing was a gentle reminder of the forest's abundance, a place where life thrived in harmony. They looked up at me with big brown eyes. There was a moment of connection, a silent understanding between us. Their eyes were full of curiosity and caution, a reflection of the wild spirit that lived within them. 
We watched each other for a moment. Then they bounded away. Their movements were graceful and fluid, a dance of survival and freedom. They disappeared into the underbrush, leaving me with a sense of awe and respect for these magnificent creatures. They moved silently through the trees, their hooves barely making a sound on the forest floor. It was as if they were ghosts, blending seamlessly into their surroundings. The forest was their domain, and they navigated it with ease and confidence. Life in the forest was a delicate balance. Every creature from the smallest insect to the largest mammal played a role in maintaining this equilibrium. The forest was a complex web of interactions, a living, breathing entity that thrived on diversity and interdependence. It was a reminder of the beauty and fragility of nature, a world where every life mattered and every moment was a gift. The trail opened up. I had arrived at a river. The water flowed over rocks. It sparkled in the sunlight. I sat down on a smooth stone and closed my eyes. The sound of the water was calming. It was a constant rhythm, a reminder of nature's power. Yet the water flowed gently. It was a reminder of nature's peace. I continued my hike. The forest gave way to a meadow. Wildflowers carpeted the ground. They were every color imaginable, red, yellow, blue, and purple. Butterflies danced from flower to flower. Bees buzzed, collecting pollen. The air was sweet with the scent of flowers. It was a symphony of life. Everything was connected. It was a perfect harmony. As I walked, I saw a fox. It was watching me from the edge of the meadow. It had a bushy tail and bright, intelligent eyes. We locked eyes for a moment, then it turned and disappeared into the tall grass. I realized I was not alone. I was sharing this space with other creatures. We were connected by this beautiful planet. As the sun began to set, I found a place to camp. I pitched my tent near the river. The sound of the water would lull me to sleep. I built a small fire. The flames crackled and danced. I cooked a simple meal over the fire. It tasted delicious. The simple things in life were the best, I felt content. After dinner, I lay down outside my tent. I looked up at the night sky. It was filled with stars. They twinkled like diamonds scattered on black velvet. I'd never seen so many stars before. The universe was vast and mysterious. I felt small but connected to something much bigger than myself. I felt a sense of peace and wonder. I woke up early the next morning feeling the crispness of the dawn air on my skin. The world was still and quiet, a stark contrast to the bustling city life I had left behind. As I stretched and took a deep breath, I felt a sense of peace wash over me, a feeling that only nature could provide. The sun was rising over the mountains, casting long shadows and painting the sky with hues of pink and orange. It was a breathtaking sight. One that made me feel small, yet connected to something much larger than myself. The mountains stood tall and majestic, their peaks kissed by the first light of day. The sky was bathed in a warm, golden light, a promise of a new day filled with endless possibilities. The golden rays spread across the landscape, illuminating every tree, every rock and every blade of grass. It was as if the world was waking up with me, ready to embrace whatever the day had in store. It was time to pack up and head back to the city. But I took my time, savoring every moment. Each item I packed held a memory of the adventure, a reminder of the simplicity and beauty of life away from the chaos. The tent, the sleeping bag, the cooking gear, all were symbols of a journey that had touched my soul. But I knew I would never forget this experience. The sunrise, the mountains, the golden light, they were etched into my memory a source of inspiration and solace. As I gazed at the horizon, I felt a deep sense of gratitude for the opportunity to connect with nature in such a profound way. Nature had a way of calming the soul, of reminding us of what truly matters. The serene scenes of the forest, the gentle flow of the river, the rustling of leaves in the breeze, all these elements worked together to create a symphony of peace and tranquility. It was a reminder that sometimes the most important things in life are the simplest. It reminded me of what was truly important. 
In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of the things that bring us joy and fulfillment. But here, in the heart of nature, I found clarity. I realized that happiness doesn't come from material possessions or achievements, but from moments of connection, reflection, and inner peace. I would carry this peace with me, a beacon of calm in the storm of everyday life. As I walked through the forest, I felt a sense of contentment and joy that I hadn't felt in a long time. The smile on my face was genuine, a reflection of the inner peace I had found. I knew that this experience would stay with me, a source of strength and inspiration. I would seek it out again soon. The call of nature was too strong to ignore, and I knew that I would return to these mountains, to this sunrise, to this golden light. I would plan my next adventure, eager to explore new places and create new memories. For now I carried the essence of this journey with me, a reminder of the beauty and simplicity of life in the great outdoors.